In this video, we will walk through creating deep links to individual MindTap activities in your LMS. This video assumes that you have created your course level link to MindTap, and you are ready to take the next step to add links to Cengage content into your Brightspace course and set up automatic grade return if desired. Deep linking refers to the process of adding links into your LMS course that launch students into a specific learning resource or section in your MindTap learning path, like a quiz, a video, or the ebook. If the activity is graded, you will also have the option to synchronize the item score to your LMS gradebook. Before taking these steps, you will want to make sure that you have personalized your MindTap course to meet your course learning objectives, and most importantly, that you have confirmed the point values for your assignments. This is important because when you add a graded item into your LMS, we will create a gradebook column based on the point values in MindTap. Modifying the point values after the item has been linked into your LMS course will result in an incorrect assignment score being displayed to students. You can use the batch editing tools to modify point values or switch assignments from graded to practice. Once you've confirmed everything is set up the way you'd like, you're ready to organize the MindTap content in your LMS course. To get started, let's navigate back to the course builder. If you haven't already done so, you'll want to consider how your course is organized. In our example, our course is organized around learning modules. Yours may be organized by chapter, by week, or some other structure that you have defined. Most importantly, we need to have a module available to add our content. You can also create modules on this page if necessary. Let's say we want to add content into our introduction module. From the Add Content menu, click and drag the Cengage tool into the module. This will launch the Content Selector, which is a visual representation of your personalized MindTap course, including any activities you have customized or added. On the right side, you will see that you have two columns, Add to Course and Add to Gradebook. Selecting Add to Course for a chapter or folder will allow you to create a direct link that takes students to that section of the learning path. It does not automatically add links to all of the content within the folder. To expand or collapse a folder, use the horizontal arrow to the left of the item. If you want to add links to individual learning resources, you must select them. For example, we may want to add a link to the ebook. While it is not necessary to add any deep links into your course, you must add a deep link to individual assignments to establish grade return. Graded items have a checkbox available in the Add to Gradebook column. By default, when you select Add to Course for a graded item, Add to Gradebook is also selected. Deselecting the box will add a link to the activity, but not sync grades to the gradebook. You can select as many items as you would like at one time. However, keep your course organization in mind so that you don't have an excessive amount of links on any page. In our example, We've selected a few items from the introductory chapters, so we can now click Confirm Selections. Once confirmed, click Save and you'll be redirected to your LMS. If you expand your module, you will see your content links, and if we return to content, you will see the resources in your table of contents. When a student clicks on one of these links, the learning resource will open in a new window. Your students can complete the activity and return to your Brightspace course. During the linking process, we added a gradebook column to your Brightspace gradebook for any graded activity where Add to Gradebook was selected. To view these items, we'll select Grades, and then Manage Grades. Here, you will see a column for each graded activity, and the point values match the points in your MindTap course. It is important to understand that you should not edit any graded assignment name. This will result in grade synchronization breaking if your course is copied for use in a new term or by another instructor. As an alternative, you can safely edit the assignment short name, which can shorten assignment names in your Enter Grades view. When a student completes an activity, or when a score is modified in MindTap, the score will automatically post to your Brightspace gradebook. Any score that is modified in Brightspace will not sync back to MindTap. If you want to view the specific details of a student's attempt, you will view those in MindTap. If you overwrite a student's score in Brightspace, that grade does not flow back to MindTap. 
Thank you for completing this video training for MindTap. For additional help or resources, please visit our training and support sites or join the higher ed community to engage with your peers.